Okay, we wanted to show you the 10 and 13 inch contact tanks, which are the 15 and 30 gallon. They come assembled with the in and out head on top and the clack bottom fitting on the bottom already installed. In terms of piping, you want to pipe the in on the inlet. There's an in marked on top of this and your outlet on the out. What happens inside there is there's a D-tube that goes to about a foot off the bottom of the tank. So the water drops in, circulates all the way down through the tank, and then gets forced up through the D-tube. In effect, giving that contact time and mixing of the water. The fitting on the bottom of the tank is called a clack swivel fitting. And as you can see, it swivels around so that you can align it up to your pipe and or the outlet at the bottom of the tank where the hole in the base is. It's a little strange with these fittings because they do have a little bit of movement and that gives it that swivel and what's happening in there this nut is tightened down to these stops and there's an o-ring which makes the seal on the inside. There you can see the o-ring and the chamber where it seals. That allows it to move a little bit, both like that and to swivel around while still being a watertight seal. So the clack fitting, they've made them for years. The main thing is you just tighten that nut up right up to the stops. It won't go any further, but you can still move that. The main other thing on the bottom so you've got your inlet and outlet. And so on the bottom fitting down there, you just want to attach any type of ball, valve, plastic or metal. And what's that that's going to allow you to do is to flush the accumulated oxidized rust out of the bottom of the tank. Depends on your water and the size of the tank, but every two or three months is generally uh, the right timing. So basically on the bottom, you just shut off your water up here open the valve and all the accumulated gunk will come out.